Okay, so we are moving to wisdom's talk today. Commitment. <laughs> Choose what not to do. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, that is the factor number one. The first C. Yeah, if you still remember well, this slide tie number five. <laughs> that this month we're gonna spend time learning this five C of the middle way meditation commitment comfort consciousness consistency and consideration it's like a 5c needle that we're gonna pierce through hindrances to unlock the luminous mind and that's a five hindrances i reveal last uh, wednesday so we're going to study one by one each C to cure five hindrances. Yeah, commitment, sensual desire, comfort. Now, it will up to consideration for doubt. We start with number one today. Commitment, sensual desire. Yeah. If you will meditate well, if you will uh, access the luminous mind, it start with a very important attitude is commitment that this is something important or it is serious in the way that is we need to make a time for it, not just a choice or the option. And that is how your attention will be more directed to the luminous mind sign, not misled by the sensual design. What is that? Yeah, sensual design in these five things. Yeah. Five senses. <laughs> I'm sure everyone, including myself, we experience this sensual design, five senses. Like what? Like when you meditate, your mind is calm and then oh you taste some delicious food and then the image or the feeling of that food come and your inner peace kind of distracted or some music come in while you meditate or some smell that you remember is so beautiful it's so nice or something you see even like a uh, a football match or some nice jewelry right and then you kind of distracted by those five hindrances yeah if any one of you experience that uh, central design before yeah can you type 5s <laughs> 5s yeah central design from five senses 5s S like as S uh, senses that yeah this happened it's common and that is the first hindrances that if we live our life and we do not guard our five senses well enough it comes through those five senses and we are not that peaceful But it's important to know, it's important to know that we can overcome the central design with these three universal characteristics and that why we need to go deep beyond those five senses. Uh, for sure, you know, good food, good smell, uh, even good uh, scenery is nice. But you touch it but do not hold on. Right? I mentioned this before that we still can enjoy our life as we deserve it. But you touch it and let go. Do not attach. That's the key thing about five senses that we still use it to feel good in our life. But we touch and let go. And we remember these three universal characteristic everything through the five senses is impermanent. It's not forever. It's suffering hidden. Yeah, beautiful flower will fall away. <laughs> Non-self, you not really owns anything, 
even this body, one day it change. We attach to them in trouble with your own mind that you feel not good. So anything through five senses is under these three universal characteristics. So let go. Let go. But this thing is not under that law. Peace of mind surpasses all kinds of happiness. That what the Buddha shared with us that if we practice well and we let go from five hindrances and feel the luminous mind. That luminous mind always there. <laughs> and that peace of mind will surpass five senses and you feel good, freedom. Yeah, this is three important questions. If any one of you meditate on a daily basis already, that's good news. You have commitment. You make a time. You not find a time. But if you cannot make it on a daily basis yet, that you shower the body every day, but you do not shower the mind every day, it's not a part of your habit yet. Ask these three questions to yourself to spark commitment. Number one, do I really want to attain true happiness? Yeah. If your answer is yes, type number one. Yes, I want to attain true happiness that not ups and down too much. Yeah, five senses. <laughs> it's not true happiness. True happiness only through that stillness, silence. Type number one, if you, yeah, I want true happiness. The second one, do I really want to attain to refuge? Yeah, what is refuge? When you're in trouble, when you suffer, then you find something you can rely on. And this is not about religion, it's about the reality, right? We call Buddha nature in our language. Uh, it might be the kingdom of God with, within you in a Catholic language. But it's the goodness that, oh, I'm a good person or I'm doing good. That is my refuge, right? If you have the answer that, yes, I want to attain true refuge. Anytime I'm in trouble, I can get back to that luminous mind and find the answer. Find the refuge. Type number two. If you think it's important to have that refuge. And from what I know, no one, no one can really be our refuge all the time. Because everyone have their own trouble. <laughs> so if you want the refuge outside, sometimes it's impermanent. But if you can find that refuge inside, your kind heart, your pure nature inside you, that is with you forever. And number one, sorry, number three, the third question, do I really want to attain enlightenment? And do you? <laughs> Ask yourself, do I really want to attain enlightenment? It is quite some time in this cycle, born again, cry again, and yeah, one day we should have eternal peace and no return. Be enlightened and then no more greed, hatred, delusion that I hit the walls again. If your answer is yes, I want to attain enlightenment in this lifetime or the next one, tie number three. Yeah, tie number three. Yeah, this is three questions. Any day you feel discouraged that, oh, I do not meditate well or I'm kind of tired. Ask these three questions. True happiness, true refuge, and enlightenment. When you are clear, you can see this two kinds of commitment, like a how you can develop that commitment. From my master, he said that two kind. The first one created commitment that you not really feel committed yet. So we need to create it. 
And then the second one, natural commitment. Yeah, that you meditate well, you see the benefit, you see how my shower transform my life, and you have that natural commitment that, yeah, feel like oh, I cannot move on if I not shower my mind yet, and that is a natural one. But if you not reach that state of seeing the result, you still like a will it work for me or it will not work for me. We need to be. Uh, discipline in the way that let's make some pattern that will lead me to natural commitment. Can you follow? Can you follow this well? Yeah. That there are two kind created commitment that we need to uh, put our attention to create that commitment, and then natural commitment. So natural commitment will come up naturally, but to create the commitment, two advice: number one, read or listen, you know, YouTube or any audio file about the benefit and practice of meditation on a daily basis. Create that commitment by connecting yourself to hear or. To see that inner peace is good, luminous mind is very powerful, and you feel passionate, you feel enthusiastic to practice more. And number two, connect with more experienced meditator. You know we don't have like a, a bonus in meditation every day. That wow, it's so wonderful. And then natural commitment rise up. We feel down. We feel like oh, I cannot do it. Connect to someone who might be in that trouble before, and get encouragement from them that how they overcome those blocking moment in their practice. So that's a two way. Read or listen by yourself, and then connect to someone else. You know, daily my shower is one of the best way to create commitment. You listen to. The talk, the practice, and then connect with our inner peace friend from around the world. Once you have that things in mind, created commitment, natural commitment. This is the most important one. Make a time, not fire time. Meditate at least thirty minutes per day. Yeah, again, daily my shower. Uh, one of the best way you can have this daily commitment. Or your practice, shower the body, shower the mind, and to have that thirty minute every day, <laughs> you need to have commitment. Choose what not to do, and I highly recommend first thing first. If anything important, do it first. Morning time before you do anything, before you turn on your mobile phone or anything. Shower the body, shower the mind. Yeah, choose what not to do. Out from that, and then choose inner peace first. Yeah, if you can, kind of, delay something not to do now, but meditate first. It's very possible that you have that daily commitment of choosing the right thing, the first thing. What will be more important than your than your own peace and wisdom and happiness? Everything will follow. You have that on a daily basis: inner peace, calmness, wisdom, right? So that is commitment. You like it? <laughs> is this uh, encouraging to you? That yeah, let's do it. Let's have. A first, the established commitment. Then, those five senses, sensual desire, will not take me away from my inner peace. Next time, we're gonna meet on comfort. Yeah, we will talk about comfort, the second C to overcome ill will. I hope you get some encouragement and let's practice to complete that. Five C needle <laughs> and touch a luminous mind. 
So I share uh, this wonderful moment with everyone and I pass the microphone back to Monica for our dairy sharing. <laughs>